How's it everyone? Welcome to another court checklist segment right here on Open Court. I'm Kent and today on this court checklist I'd like to talk about why I like to use tighter string patterns. So as you guys probably know my current favorite racket line is probably the Head Speed specifically the Speed Pro which does have a tighter 1820 string pattern and I want to answer why I personally like tighter string patterns and how the characteristics of tighter string patterns are different from more open patterns. So I got this racket here, this is the Head Graphene Speed Pro from 2013 and it has a very tight 1820. As you can see, the string spacing is very tight together. So what are some characteristics of tighter string patterns? Well, the tighter the pattern is, the less easy spin and power you're going to get. You're not going to get much for free, especially if the head size is smaller. This is a 100 square inch, so it does actually have a decent amount of spin and power. Not a lot, but compared to, for example, like a 95 square inch 1820 where the string spacing is going to be very, very tight, this will get a little bit more, but in general, tighter string patterns get a little bit less spin and power because the strings are going to move a little bit less in both directions, both this way as well as this way. So when the strings move this way side to side, we like to call that in tennis snapback and the strings will displace and then snap when the ball is making contact with the string bed and that snapping back motion is what puts rotation on the tennis ball as well as this way when the string bed will deflect we like to call that the trampoline effect and it's like when you're bouncing on a trampoline the trampoline will give a little bit and then launch you back up into the air same principle applies in tennis the strings do not move much horizontally as well as backwards so that's why you get a little bit less spin and power. That also means that the feel is going to be a little bit stiffer. This is a detriment to most people especially if you use a stiffer construction like polyester or god forbid Kevlar. The stiffer the feel obviously it's going to send more vibrations through the handle and up your arm which means that if you guys have arm issues particularly tennis elbow or shoulder pain you are going to feel it more with a tighter string pattern. On the plus side though, the less string movement also means better durability because the strings aren't sliding as much, which means that the cross strings are not sawing into the main strings. And that's why tighter patterns like 1820s work great with a natural gut hybrid with polyester in the cross. I have used Babla VS natural gut with Luxlan Alu Power in the cross in this exact racket before. And that setup lasted over six months. In fact, the natural gut never broke. I had to actually cut out the strings because the cross poly lost too much tension in it. It was actually starting to affect my arm a little bit, which usually never happens. But the durability is great in 1820. So if you guys are using natural gut as a main in a hybrid, I do recommend tighter string pattern for more durability. But the main reason why I personally like tighter string patterns is because the tighter the string pattern, the lower the trajectory is going to be when you hit the ball. I like to be aggressive and I'm usually stepping inside the baseline, particularly on the return of serve when I'm taking swings and I want that low trajectory low over the net so my ball doesn't fly past the baseline. Also because I play mostly doubles, I want to keep that ground stroke low over the net in case my opponent poaches so that way they don't get an easy put away. My play style is very aggressive. I like to take huge swings at the baseline just because that's just like my personality. I like to be aggressive. I like taking huge swings. It's very satisfying when I connect solidly in the sweet spot and get a nice rip. But I do like to come up to the net as much as possible. I am actually more of a net player than a baseliner. And 1820 patterns do not particularly perform well at the net because it doesn't have that punch that a more open pattern will have. So you gotta be a little bit better at making contact and pushing through the ball. That's why the Speed Pro Racket Line is actually not so much geared towards net players. It's definitely a baseliner stick, but because my net game has already established, I use a racket like this that's a little bit geared towards baseliners. But another thing I'd like to point out is that the speed line in recent years, the, the string pattern remains 1820, but the string spacing has actually gotten a little bit wider. So the most recent renditions of the speed do provide much better spin and power than the previous editions. And I really do like this pattern. Although my ideal pattern would be an 1819 pattern, 
that one less cross string will provide a little bit more string movement in the mains to get even more spin and power. So that's basically why I like to use tighter string patterns. I like to swing out and that low trajectory keeps my ball inside the baseline and prevents the opponent from poaching. I don't really need a whole lot of help at the net, which is why I like tighter patterns for more of baseline stability. And also it gets a little bit more feel when you make contact because more strings are making contact with the ball and I am a feel and finesse oriented player. So if you guys are looking for a little bit more control from the baseline, try out something like the Speed Pro or something with a tighter pattern that'll keep that trajectory low. Just be careful because it does have a stiffer feel so you always want to protect your arm. Thank you for watching this court checklist right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content and want to see more, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.